Hi Pisces. I'm going to get the Palo Santo going. We haven't used these cards for a while, so I am going to be using these cards that we haven't used in a long time. Okay, let's just shuffle three times. Something with Pisces spirits. Okay, one more shuffle, Pisces. Okay, Pisces. Let's find out what is going on. What's happening with Pisces spirits? We have the Page of Cups, the Star, and the Ten of Swords. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. There's an emotional message coming in from someone who wants to to have a start with you they see was a wish fulfillment this could be somebody new tonight but i don't think so because i've got the ten of swords so someone's wanting to heal a connection with you someone who in the past betrayed you they're really recognizing you now. Let's see, this is someone who wants to heal this connection with you. But I feel like, like you're trying to move on with your life. Like you're showing up here as the Six of Wands. Right underneath the star card, this is victory, success coming into your life. We have the death card, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio. This is right under the Ten of Swords and ending. The Four of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles. It's like I feel like you put a lot of work and a lot of a lot of yourself into your home, into a marriage. And now you're looking back and it wasn't worth it. You did all all of this. You planted all of these seeds. And it's like there's disappointment here. See the base of this person on the card? disappointment it's like I did all of this for nothing and then we have the page of Pentacles so this is good news it's like you're you're ending something here and starting something new you could be dealing with another Pisces a Cancer or a Scorpio Somebody's showing up here, definitely somebody's showing up here with an emotional message and with a lot of passion. I'm seeing someone that's younger than you. They don't have to be, but I'm seeing a younger energy there or someone immature. There's something that you don't see with the moon card. There's a new passionate beginning coming in for you. <clears throat> This could have to do with, I'm seeing someone show up here with a message, but it's like you don't see it with the moon card. Like if you look at the moon card, I'm seeing you starting 
It's like you're coming out of the, the ocean, coming out of your emotions, because the water is emotions, and starting down a new path. Of something that you're very passionate about. There's someone here who's very passionate about you. Why is the star here? Yeah, someone's showing up here. <laughs> Somebody's showing up here, Pisces, and I'm seeing you here blindfolded like you don't see this person coming. You're you're feeling very in control of your emotions. You're in the King of Cups energy. Cuz see the King of Cups is um like on rocky water underneath him, but but you're holding your cups still. You're in control of your emotions. So when this message comes in, I see you here guarding your heart. You're holding up two swords. It's like there's a conflict here with whatever this person says. I'm seeing them come in with some type of truth that's going to allow you to take the blindfolds off because the sun illuminates everything so that you can see clearly you'll see the truth the blindfold will come off and it has something to do with why they betrayed you like this and left why is the ten of swords here <clears throat> Why is the Ten of Swords here? Let's see, the Wheel of Fortune is turning in your favor, Pisces. Look at this. I have the Ten of Swords. I've got you like laying on the ground with ten swords in your back there's an ending a painful ending it wasn't not an easy ending but the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor ten of cups queen of cups the queen of cups is you and the ten of cups is happy home happy family just complete peace and happiness a celebration here <clears throat> so the wheels turning in your favor I'm seeing you working on something here it's like you're concentrated on your work and this work is all going into your favor why is the four of swords here the same Pisces reading <clears throat> the story goes on Pisces this person they were breadcrumbing you they put you in a three-party situation and they were either lying cheating stealing the Seven of Swords is someone lying, cheating, stealing. And the Three of Swords is like a three-party situation. <clears throat> and now they want, a reconcil they want a reconciliation with you. Why is the Six of Wands here, Spirits?
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy with the King of Wands, but I'm seeing this as being your energy. It's like you're, the King of Wands does not take no for an answer. <clears throat> and so it's bringing you to a lot of success with the Six of Wands here. This is success, victory. You're really passionately going after something that you want. I, I'm seeing someone watching you. They're really recognizing you. They're like, wow. Now they're feeling the pain. They realize what they've done. Why is the death card here? <clears throat> but I'm seeing the death card. There he is. There's the devil. If you're dealing with the Capricorn, there he is. <clears throat> and I've got Scorpio. Whoever this is, it can be any sign because I've got all the signs here. I've got Libra, Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They are in a position where there's an ending. There's something in their life ending, and I feel like it's another connection. But they're fighting an inner battle with themselves about taking a leap of faith towards you with the message which i'm seeing them doing up here they want to do this okay so the four of wands you could have been married to this person living with this person Why is the Four of Wands here? Yeah, see, they're up in their head. Both of these cards are home. Marriage. And look at how they're feeling. They're up in their head about you. All of the swords on the wall, these are th thoughts. These are like, this is like the nightmare card. This person keeps thinking about going home. Talking about Pisces. Yeah, they put you in a three party situation, though. See? Three of Cups, three of Pentacles. <clears throat> now they want to work with you. Now they want a great celebration. They want to reconcile with you. They, this person wants to come home. This is someone that you were in a committed relationship with. They just keep focusing on the past. Very sad, very regretful. You could be dealing with a Taurus. It's like they're not taking action, though. They're in the hangman energy where they're kind of feeling stuck. Because they're really, really up in their head. This is like really rough energy here. This person's really up in their head. Why? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? It's like I feel like they're trying to make a decision, but they're looking at the time that has gone by. There's a lot of time that's gone by. And so they're trying to make a decision because they're standing at a crossroads in their life. They're, wherever they were, that connection ended. They're starting over as the fool. And so now they're trying to make a decision. They're feeling alone. They're feeling sad. They want this new beginning in love with you. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? You could be dealing with an Aries. 
See, they want the emperor is stability. They want the stability with you. But this is a very, very passionate person. This is someone who has a lot of passion for you. Someone very nice looking. I feel like this is kind of like a busybody person. But now they're wanting to settle down. They want stability. They want equal give and take. They're feeling left out in the cold and they're showing up with an apology. And I see someone here who's, I mean, I feel like this person's been gone for a long time. I see blocked communication here. This is someone you're not talking to. And the Knight of Pentacles is very, very slow and they're walking towards this blocked communication, holding something in their hand. feel like it's like there could be this person could have like some type of an instability or something but I don't know for some of you you're still standing there it's like you're exhausted from this person they put you through a lot your head is bandaged up but this is someone who's still standing And you're kind of looking at, look at the face on this card. You're kind of looking at this person coming in, holding their cup of love. And so there we go. It's a decision. Let me see if I can go further into this just a little bit. Because this is, this person's been doing this for a while. It's like they want to show up here, but they're really stuck. They are stuck. This was a really, apparently a really, really bad ending. Just like the, the Ten of Swords is showing right there. It's going to happen. See, you get your justice. I have justice and I have the Ace of Wands. There's something here that you're very passionate about. It's like the universe is on your side. They're balancing out the scale. Because I feel like you're having a spiritual awakening. And starting to see things. See this? They're coming in with an emotional cup of love. They want to tell you they love you. And the Three of Swords, they're feeling very broken hearted over a three party situation. They want to work on this connection with you. They want equal give and take. But this person's looking at how much time has gone by. The cards are just repeating themselves now. They're like, I don't know. At this point, they don't know if they can come back. But I feel like they're going to. I see that I see it happening right here. This is someone coming back with a lot of passion. Not just a lot of passion, but I see this person being very emotional too. Okay, so let's see what the angel oracle cards have to say, Pisces, about this reading. See, this situation involves marriage. 
marriage or living together. What does Pisces need to know, spirits? Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. This is someone difficult to release. They're like, I, I don't know if it's because they're thinking about you so much, but it's someone that's very charming. They just have a way about them. And they're really, really hard to release. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And on the bottom of the deck, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And let's get us a Moonology card. I just want to shuffle one more time, Pisces. Make sure the energy is in here good. What does Pisces need to know, spirits? Luck is on your side. Maybe things have been going your way lately. And a new romantic cycle begins. And on the bottom of the deck, conclusions are within reach. Okay, Pisces, so these are the messages spirits have for you. I hope they help and bring you clarification. Thank you so much for watching and being here with me. And thank you for liking and subscribing and leaving me your comments. I love reading all of your comments. I go through and read them all. I don't always get all everything answered, but I go through and read all of them. And you guys really, really bring my spirits up and make me very happy. But I send you lots of love and light, Pisces, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.